Ho, 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 Merry Christmas, everybody. Welcome to phase two of my training in preparation for the Arnold's Classic, and welcome to the new YouTube channel. And we're gonna be following my workouts here as I get ready for all the big shows. Let's go. So I got some stone cleaner press uh, and then axle pressing. And at some point I was using circus dumbbell to uh, kind of get my work conditioning, uh, conditioning back, but I think I'll be dropping the dumbbell. The dumbbell is up to you guys. You're not getting ready for the Arnold, so if you uh, wanna do log or dumbbell or keep any other event kind of ironed out and continuously practiced, then you're welcome to do so. You don't have to follow the app per exercise exactly the way it's written. So if you guys are about to do stone press, one thing I wanna make sure, or that when I do it, that I make sure of, is that the heel of my hand is pressing directly under the stone. If this part of the hand is slightly in front of, the stone roll back. If it's slightly towards me, it'll roll too much forward. So it's gotta be directly under. And another thing, start light. No rushing this stuff, guys. All right, 115. So I'm holding off on the whole stone series, I think until the end of January or February. Uh, right now, I just wanna master every individual element of that final event of Arnold's so that there's no room of slipping. I wanna focus on all the minutia, like hand positioning, how to use leg drive, how much lean to put into it, making sure I don't grind, I keep speed, because I tend to grind when it gets heavier. Uh, right now we're talking about Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, I tried it out, and I found it incredibly boring. I could tell it's a rich and incredible game, but it's so slow, I, I just, I'm losing my mind. Romark's been playing it and telling me I should get back into it. I'll give it another shot, don't worry. It's just so boring. Come on. Good for today, yeah. 260. Ultimately, with pressing a stone, I really need to make sure I check every box, get a good clean, might have a good firm footing, and then firm hand placement and don't rush any bits of, bit of those pieces, and except for maybe slowly. Over time, I can increase that speed, but don't just go from A to Z. So coming up next, I have uh, axle press. Now this is gonna be a press away. Uh, I, right now, I'm breaking apart the clean and the press into two segments, trying to get uh, the press on its own to be as crisp as possible, trying to get the clean as crisp as possible, and then I'm gonna put them together very soon. All the warm-ups are done. I'm on to this big boy. It's just an awkward fellas. Old Haugen's axle. I like it. It just brings me back good memories of the old days. So I'm borrowing it for a little bit while. It's nice because it bounces. Come on, 
Yes! Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up! Three more! Like that! Yes! Focus, 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 let's go! Activate everything! Work capacity's there, baby. Oh! These things are about to get really heavy in my training, or heavier. I'm not gonna get really heavy until I need to. But in the meantime, keep watching, because it's gonna get more interesting. Well, that was a really good Christmas, guys. Romark made a, Romark and Mac here, delicious food, and just an awesome dinner together. Today I'm gonna be working events, post Christmas, let's go. Oh, all right, I'm gonna, I'm doing front squats right now. Just a warm up activation and for a little bit of work capacity, but uh, not to burn out or anything. I like to just keep practicing squats because uh, they just carry you over to so much of strongman. Feels good. So my goal today is to get up to 700 pounds, but only if it's fast. If I could get it from floor to lockout in under two seconds, that's good. And if it's really fast, it'll go heavier, but if it's slow, I'll go under 700. I truly just listen to my body. We got Mark here. He just competed in OSG. I, but I think he's someone to watch out for. He's the brute of strength, just a little, a little new with the strongman side of things, coming from a powerlifting background. But he's got the talent. And we got, of course, Jacob and Nadia, some of the strongest people I know. Oh, Hell yeah. That felt really good. To go heavier or not to go heavier? No, not heavier. The whole, the whole idea right now is just to keep it fast. I'll get heavy weights on Saturday, overload it. Next week a little heavier, and then the third week the heaviest. Also, if you want to train at Record Gym, visit recordgym.com and uh, schedule an appointment. I'm gonna start off with some stone press. Today I'm gonna to be working on a stone of steel just because I want to get used to uh, larger uh, diameter as I go up in weight because uh, the other times I start off with lighter stones which are really small and they feel awkward and then when I do a weight jump like going up from 260 to 90 such a big difference in diameter I think that messes, messes me up so I'm gonna do all my lighter sets with a uh, stone steel just because it's bigger I want two number two places numbers down two places numbers up <laughs> well, they're good for a one but he's working on there you go. Five hundred pounds loaded up on the stone steel. World record press right here. Just a little bit. If you want. Well. Down. Good. Nice hold, bro. Come on, Martins. Got it. 
coming up next, I'm gonna be hitting some axle pressing blocks. I'm doing this because uh, my bicep is uh, hurting a bit to uh, do the eccentric portion. So, just gonna do from blocks. How heavy? I'm gonna keep that a secret. I'm just gonna get up to some weight. So, how did the log, last log feel? The last log felt a little out of place. This is normally I have my other working belt at home, but you gotta adapt with the equipment that you have, with the gear that you have. So, if I hit this next one, I'll be pretty happy with that. What's the next one? I believe it's under 265. Okay, 266. Ice cream, huh? Nice. nice job. Oh, there we go. Much better. Yeah. He's on his chest. Set! Go! Add more in the tank. That was about 450 pounds. Went easy. All right, so we just set up a jerk recovery. I'm not gonna care too much about getting heavy. I just wanna get some practice with just holding uh, some weight in a lockout. On to little accessories right now, but I'll see you guys in tomorrow's workout. All right, last day of the first week of wave two. Real Mark, right now I had to stay home for the day, so I'm vlogging it all on my own with my mediocre, excellent videography skills. So today I'm starting off with a back squat warm up, going on to some other secret movements I'm not gonna be posting. Um, some rack pulls or uh, eccentric to a rack pull then going on to frame carry work stone work and a bunch of other accessories so it's gonna be a big day saturdays are always the toughest days of the week just gotta survive it let's go to be honest i'm not too good at this whole working out and vlogging at the same time thing so you guys miss out on like half of the stuff but that's okay because i don't really want to show it anyways right now i'm working on eccentric three to five second eccentrics on a block pull uh, to then a block pull. So that's, I'm up to 855 pounds now. The goal is to control it and then launch it. See how I do. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. Up to a 920 pound frame, mainly because we misloaded it, or I misloaded it, and I don't want to take the weights off, so. I'm going for a smooth run, not a fast run. It's just a, purely to feel out how this weight is. Not bad. Slow and smooth. Right, uh, whole vlogging thing. Uh, gonna end, end it with stones and go with accessories. Pure truck. See if I could do today. Definitely low on battery right now.
little slippery today, but I think it'll be good. Sweet. <sighs> that was a good day. Vlogging and lifting heavy weights is not easy to do at the same time. So sorry about the not so good footage, you guys, but I'm really happy um, to consider that I was able to do a 850 pound uh, block pull today. Nice and smooth, felt good. I was able to do 500 pound squats, uh, go on to some other accessories that I kept secret from the rest of the world and um, move on to a 920 pound frame, 385 pound uh, stone will just chalk to the shoulder, a bunch of accessories. It's a good day, good day to survive. I'm exhausted, but n nothing hurts too bad. So I'm very happy. So on to week two of phase two, let's go.